time for Woodbine's third. Here comes the third race. First 2001 elimination of the Breeders' Crown. Three-year-old trotting fillies. There, off and trotting. Family Trust was on a break as the gate got away. Pretzel Hanover has made a break. Gypsy Balance was first easily to the lead. Yankee Fribble up on the outside. Vikings Goddess tucks in from third. Etienne Duara is fourth on the outside. And Paper Chip is... Uh, appearing to be off stride, she is from fifth. And there goes Spellbound Hanover up into the top five at the flank of SJ Countessa. The gapped out trailers are Pretzel Hanover and Family Trust. They sweep into the first turn with Yankee Fribble crossing over to take over from Gypsy Balance. Eddie and Duara still out there and driving. Vikings Goddess plugged in from fourth. Spellbound Hanover is fifth. Three more to SJ Countessa from sixth. The opening split was 27 and three. Uh, Ariane Duara and Danielle Dubé parking pass three eighths of the mile. Trying to take over Yankee Fribble by Arjans, trying to grab on and deposit Eddie and Duara up on the front end. Gypsy Balance watching this from a tight third. Vikings Goddess is considering coming out from fourth. She stays in line there past the half. Spellbound Hanover has caught the leaders from fifth. It's three more lengths to SJ Countessa. Gapped out our paper chip, Pretzel Hanover, and distance since the outset. Family Trust. 58 seconds was the half, and uh, retaking front was Yankee Fribble from Eddie and Duara. Three eighths of the mile to go and Gypsy Balance starts up on the outside from third. Vikings Goddess is fourth. Spellbound Hanover fifth. S.J. Countessa following in from sixth. And the gapped out trailers on the final turn were Paper Chip, Pretzel Hanover, and Family Trust. At the head of the stretch, Gypsy Balance is coming to call on Yankee Fribble. 128 and 1. Three-quarter time. The fractions have been soft, and the stretch drive should be speedy. In this first Breeders' Crown elimination, three-year-old Philly Trot, Yankee Fribble on the inside. Gypsy Balance on the outside. The Ontario competitors are 1-2 in this crown elimination. And this round goes to Yankee Fribble. A drawing away. Winner Gypsy Balance stays for second. Uh, on the outside, charging with Spellbound Hanover third over Arian Duana fourth. Yankee Fribble in 156. You some added confidence in the filly. Well, she always trot real good on this track. You know, she took uh, she broke the track record here this summer, and uh, she never uh, threw a bad race over this track. And uh, you know, she's a good filly. She got a 450,000 made this year. You know, they didn't give it to her. She earned it. You know, uh, there was some breaking uh, horses early on in the mix. Uh, did that affect your decision at all to leave, or was that kind of in the back of your mind? No, I was going to let her get out of there. You know, nine hole, I knew there would be one or two uh, running probably, and uh, she likes to get out, get out of there, you know, and uh, then she'll settle good. But uh, she's kind of a... And Ben made a bridal change tonight. He put the hood with the cops, and she was a little hotter tonight. But uh, she sat good in the hole for a little while, then uh, that filly made a break leave, and that uh, Ariane do her out there. So I come back. My filly felt real strong at the half, so I come back around, and... Uh, we're down three quarter, 128 and one, and uh, she had enough to spin home 27 and four. Your filly did look strong at the end tonight. Uh, did she feel as sharp tonight as she has uh, when she's been at her peak this season? Well, she she felt as good tonight as she she felt in the elegant image and uh, when she broke the track record here. All right, good luck the rest of the way tonight. Best of luck next week. Thank you very much. Mario Bayer, Jean, and a Yankee Fribble scoring tonight in the first elimination for three-year-old Philly Trotters. Cole Trotters takes center stage next, and to update you on changes, let's.